Well, we've had another quick taste of, uh, I would say, early spring across the region as cooler air is starting to make its way back in. 18 degrees cooler right now than where we were yesterday in Ironwood. 3 degrees cooler in Marquette while right at the same mark in Iron Mountain. But seeing more of that differential as you go farther south in the state. You can see it right there in Detroit, 29 degrees cooler. But uh, not only are we dealing with the cooler air, we are seeing some light snow showers currently in force. Just a few flurries, not seeing a lot, but you'll also notice that there is some mixture of rain and snow and some light rain as you go farther off to the east here, uh, closer until you get to uh, St. Ignace and also to the Sioux. But for us, it looks like a lot of this activity will die off as we head into the evening, expecting more of a partly cloudy sky to mostly clear as we head closer to early Wednesday morning as that cooler air really begins to uh, settle into place and it looks like high pressure will settle into place as well, which will help us to clear. Right now, we are at 43 degrees. Winds very breezy around 20 miles per hour and that is bringing our real field temperature down into uh, the lower 30s at 31 degrees for us right here. So uh, mostly cloudy skies, not really seeing much of any type of precipitation for us right now in Marquette. But uh, elsewhere, we are seeing more of that difference and elsewhere also we're seeing some of that cool air in place. 36 degrees right now in Ontonagon, also at 36 in Houghton, while at 37 in Ironwood. I, I, Cool 48, if you can say that, into Florence and Menominee. Uh, farther out to the east, lower 40s in Munising, 48 degrees in Escanaba and Ishpeming, currently at 43. And for our winds, we are seeing them coming in from that north and northwesterly direction. So that's the change that we have uh, been waiting for, at least what we've been dreading, as that is bringing in more of the north, of that cool air from Canada. 18 miles per hour currently in Iron Mountain, 12 in Escanaba, while at 15 in Houghton. And across the state, temperatures more of the 50s as you go farther south, still trying to hold on to the 60s down in Detroit at 60 degrees, 58 in Flint and at 50 in Houghton Lake. But we are expecting that the isolated flakes uh, will begin to give way as we go into uh, the early evening, maybe seeing a slight 20% chance of that earlier on. I would say before, before 9, 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. this evening before really seeing things beginning to clear out for us. And tomorrow we should be mostly sunny with temperatures uh, around the 40s and the 50s for afternoon highs. Now, if we do stay in the 40s, it should be right along Lake Superior and in the upper 40s around 48, 49. But elsewhere, it looks like we do all reach uh, the 50s and the lower 60s. And rain chances, they return as we get into late Thursday evening by Friday, that's when chances really increase for us, but at least we'll be mostly dry over Wednesday and uh, for the majority on Thursday. But here's a look at our setup right now. Rain showers and also some of that snow beginning to work its way out of here. All that moisture will be gone by tomorrow. The jet stream still to our south, so things will be on the cooler side below seasonal values as we head into our Wednesday afternoon and uh, still seeing another cool night tomorrow night with a few more clouds in place for us. But here it is, all of this beginning to wind down as we head into the night, seeing a mostly clear sky by uh, Wednesday afternoon. i uh, seeing maybe a few clouds come in with a weak system, but uh, not expecting any of that rain or uh, precipitation to uh, find its way here for us. We should remain dry throughout Wednesday. More of those clouds for us as we go into Wednesday night and Thursday. Here comes that rain trying to sneak its way back into the region as we get into Thursday evening and definitely seeing more of it as we go into Friday. For tonight, dropping down to 29 degrees. Early flakes for us, late clearing. That is going to be after midnight, so not really going to see that clear sky. Until then, winds coming out of the northwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For us on Wednesday, mostly clear and cool winds coming out of the northeast at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So still seeing that wind coming from the north and off of Lake Superior. So right along the shorelines, yeah, a little cooler for you. 54 in Launce, 57 in Nantanagan, while at 52 into Marquette. Lower 60s in Florence and middle 50s in Escanaba at 55 in Manistique and calling only for 49 in Munising. But we'll start off at 29 tomorrow morning, so you have that jacket ready for the kids. Winds around uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour coming in from the northwest, but seeing a lot of sun throughout our Wednesday. We'll be at 52 for your high there as we head into Thursday. A lot of sun earlier on before seeing more of the clouds later on into the evening. 59 degrees for your high. Maybe some PM showers, but definitely seeing the rain enter as we go into Thursday night and for us on Friday as that will knock temperatures just a bit with the clouds and rain in place down to 51 degrees. But expecting a quick rebound into the weekend dry on Saturday with 64 before seeing 70 and more rain by Sunday.